Welcome to Crosstalk Solutions. My name's Chris, and today we're going to be talking about the Unify AP Beacon HD. This is model number UAP Beacon HD US. And this is an interesting product. This is basically a mesh access point that you plug into a wall socket. Uh, this is the American version. I'm not actually sure if they have European versions of this or not. Uh, I don't know if they're coming or what the deal is. I'll look that up and see if I can put a comment down below about that. All right, late night editing Chris here with a quick interruption to say that I was not able to find a European version of the Beacon HD anywhere online. So there's no talk about it. I'm not sure if they're actually coming out with something like that. But for those of you in Europe and the UK, if you have beta store access, Ubiquiti's beta store access, go look in there because there's something in there that I'm not allowed to talk about since it's EA, but it's pretty similar to uh, what I was searching for as far as a European version of this particular Beacon HD. All right, that's it. Back to the video. This is not an access point, okay? So where you wanna use this is if you are already running a Unify access point in your house uh, or in your business, this can be used to extend the coverage of that access point, right? So if you have the Dream Machine or if you have any of the actual Unify access points. So this does not function as a standalone access point on its own. You already have to be bought into the uni uh, Unify world in order to use this thing. And there you have it. So there's not much to this. Basically you have the Beacon HD right here. Uh, we have a, this goes onto a single gang electrical socket. Again, this is a US based plug. Let me pull the little plastic off of it. And then you get a quick start guide, which basically tells you plug it into the wall and then open up the Unify app to do the rest. So not terribly helpful, but it is what it is. Oh, you also have, looks like a wall plate. Wall plate optional, refer to quick start guide. So it also does come with its own wall plate. I guess if whatever wall plate you're plugging into is not compatible for some reason, uh, you do have that option. And it also has this little guy which looks to be extra rubber feet or maybe, no, there's the same size rubber feet. So it's got these rubber feet here, which I guess are to, you know, make sure that it's, you know, not actually touching the wall or something, gives it a little bit of cushion. And it looks like you get an extra set of rubber feet as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get this thing plugged in. And then uh, we can uh, see what it looks like in the Unify app. All right, so here we have the outlet I'm gonna to use to initially set this thing up. I'm gonna pull that out here. This is actually a micro camera I've got plugged in, G3 micro. And we're going to plug this directly in. All right, so Beacon HD just plugs in like that and you can see that it has immediately lit up. Uh, it's got a white LED and then I assume once it's actually adopted, that LED will turn blue. All right, so I raised up my camera a little bit so that you guys can actually see the Beacon HD back here behind my desk. As you can see, it is currently solid white. Now, where I'm gonna be using this device is actually for my doorbell. So I set up that UVC G4 doorbell. The wireless signal uh, comes from my office here. And so it goes all the way downstairs and then outside on the other side of the house for where the actual doorbell is connecting to Wi-Fi. And the signal's a little bit weak. It's down to about 67% or something like that. I'm going to supplement that downstairs Wi-Fi by putting this Beacon HD over on that side of the house. The Beacon HD has a four x four multi-user MIMO connection uh, meshed back to my main access point, which is a Nano HD access point. So I have a four x four multi-user MIMO access point up here, and then this is going to be a four x four multi-user MIMO mesh uh, so I guess a repeater is what you almost want to call it, but repeater and mesh are not quite the same thing, but that's basically what you're doing is you're extending your Wi-Fi coverage. And since it has that four x four multi-user MIMO bandwidth and throughput, uh, technically it should be pretty quick uh, for additional wireless that's connected to the Beacon HD or for additional devices that are connected to that uh, Beacon HD. Okay, so let's fire up Unify on my phone. Now, I currently am using a hosted Unify controller. I don't have a cloud key. I don't have a dream machine or anything like that. When I moved to this house, I just wanted to get everything up and running quickly, so I connected everything to my hosted Unify controller. 
So I'm gonna click on devices, and even though I'm on this hosted controller, you can see here that the UAP Beacon HD has already found my hosted controller, and it's set up, and it looks like it's ready for adoption. So let's go ahead and click Adopt, and now it's adopting. So we're gonna let it, we're gonna let it do its thing, and then hopefully uh, that light will turn blue in just a moment. There we go, light just turned blue. Uh, my status on here still says adopting, uh, but it looks like it's getting closer. And there we go, connected wireless. So that took all in all about two minutes, super easy setup, especially since it just auto detected and all I had to do was click adopt. And then it went through its thing, it got up and running, and now uh, we can see here the channel utilization looks pretty good, 14% in the 2.4 gigahertz and 5% in the five gigahertz. Uh, bandwidth and let's look what we have here so no clients connected right now uh, if we look at uplink we can see that it's uplinked to my UAP flex HD and it's got a minus 40 dBm of course because it's in the same room right now as that flex HD we'll see what that changes to when I move it down to where I'm actually going to install it and we can see the transmit and receive rate is estimated at 540 megabits per second now Probably not what it's actually gonna be in reality, but that's what it is estimating here. And then we can see all of our activity statistics. All right, so let's go ahead and move this downstairs. And then I'm gonna see if I can get my doorbell to connect as a client to this mesh access point so we can actually start seeing some activity with HD video footage going from the doorbell to the Beacon HD, mesh wireless over to the Flex HD, and then into uh, Unify and Unify Protect. All right, cool, well that was super easy. All right, so downstairs now, and I'm gonna plug this into this plug right here, which is about probably 25 feet away from my doorbell. And so we're gonna plug this in, there we go. Uh, and of course, as an added bonus, I've got an air conditioning vent right here to make sure we keep this thing nice and cool. All right, so I have the UAP Beacon HD set up downstairs, and as we can see now, if I look at the settings, uh, we can see that things have changed a little bit because it does not have the same signal that it did previously. Uh, we do have a client. Let's see if I can see who the client is. Connected clients, users. Okay, so it, my G4 doorbell has connected now to that device instead of the Flex HD all the way up here in my office. So it's now connected through the beacon. So we should get some statistics here, some traffic statistics. So if I look at our uplink activity, we can see 1.1 megabits. I guess that might be current throughput, 1.3 megabits. I mean, it's an HD video stream coming across from that camera. So that's probably about right. And we can see bytes uploaded, which would be you know footage coming from the camera being uploaded to protect, that's 26 megabytes. And then bytes downloaded, 1.5 megabytes. We can see our transmit rate is 270 megabits per second. Receive rate is 324 megabits per second. And the signal for the uplink is only 47% from the Beacon HD to the Flex HD is 47%. That's actually interesting because when I had the camera hooked up outside, it was actually getting about, you know, usually between 60 and 70%. This one's down to 47%, but still has pretty decent throughput. Here we can see our 5G stats. We can see what channel it's on, its transmit power, etc. And this device also has an upgrade. So we're gonna go ahead and click upgrade, and uh, we're gonna upgrade the Beacon HD and come back when we have successfully upgraded to version 4.3.20. Uh, of its firmware. Let's go ahead and do that now. Upgrade and go. Beacon HD has finished its firmware update and as we can see here in Unify, it is connected. It has a 97% wireless signal. That's the mesh signal from the beacon back to my Flex HD access point. If we click on the Beacon HD, we can see it's been up for seven minutes and 12 seconds. And if we scroll down here, we can see the Wi-Fi experience says 97% on five gigahertz. That's the uh, only thing I have devices connected to. Uh, and then we have two users. So what I did here is I actually went down and connected my G3 micro that I disconnected from the window right here. And I put it downstairs near that beacon HD, assuming that it would connect to the beacon being that it's the strongest signal. 
and it certainly did. We can see 100% wireless signal for the G3 micro camera and then 93% wireless signal for the G4 doorbell, which is a lot better considering that um, you know, it was between 60 and 70 normally when it was just sort of phoning home up here into my office to the Flex HD. Uh, let's click on one of these individually. Now the interesting thing that I, I'm not sure exactly how to wrap my head around is you look at this, right? So we have our Beacon HD. We have a Wi-Fi experience of 96% and then within the Beacon HD, the clients have their own Wi-Fi experience as well, right? So we see a client that has 100% and a client that has 93%. But if the Beacon HD's Wi-Fi experience back to home is only 96%, how can this device have 100%, right? It doesn't really make that much sense unless it's just 100% signal to the Beacon HD and then it's not accounting for the signal uh, from that device all the way through to its destination in this case, which is Unify Protect. So again, just a little bit weird as far as the math goes. Uh, let's look at our stats here. All right, so stats just shows CPU and memory, nothing uh, too crazy. And we can see our 5G stats now. We are sitting at 143 megabytes uh, since I started testing, which has been you know just the last half hour or so. And if we go to our actual wireless uplink, here we can see now we are 2.4 megabits per second because I have two cameras that are piggybacking off of that Beacon HD as opposed to just one, which is what I had previously. All right, so there you go. There is a look at the UAP Beacon HD, and I gotta say I like it. So it's $129 for this device. Again, I'm not sure if they're gonna have a you know a European version with a European form factor plug, uh, but $129 for this device. And if you if you need to extend your network, I mean that's gonna be cheaper than adding a, another you know, hardwired access point somewhere. It's it's a lot easier. You saw the setup was like two minutes and it was done. Uh, and if you had to hardwire another access point, first of all, it's gonna be more than 129 bucks, right? So the Nano HDs, the four by fours are about 179. The UAPAC Pro is gonna be around 139 in that area. And that's not counting the fact that you would have to hardwire those devices. I mean, I te guess technically you could also mesh those devices, but why not just get this one? It just plugs right into the wall. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a pretty nice little device for, for what it does. And I'll be keeping a close eye on it to make sure that there are no sort of wireless problems with any clients that are connecting near that beacon. But so far, it seems like it's working, uh, working pretty well. So yeah, 129 bucks, nice little add-on to your Unify infrastructure. If you guys have any questions about the Unify AP Beacon HD, make sure you put those down in the comments below and I will try to get those answered as best I can. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please click subscribe. My name's Chris with Crosstalk Solutions and thank you so much for watching.